Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in Studio 31 at CBS Television City in Hollywood, where the new Red Skelton show presented by Pet Evaporated Milk and Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk is about to begin. Here's the celebrated composer-conductor, Mr. David Rose. And his orchestra. And our wonderful dancing group, the Redettes. Here is our guest star, Peter Laurie. He's really gonna cut up tonight. And now here is the star of our show, Red Skelton. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Pet Milk Show, and we hope that you'll have a lot of fun. Did you see Peter Lorre uh, just out here? Well, I'm not taking any chances. I'll say good night now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see this big knife that he had? Hmm. I've got to get this pencil sharpened right away. <laughs> so while I'm doing that, here's a word from our sponsors, Pet Milk, and we'll be right back. And now we take you inside the conference room here at CBS Television City, where the executive committee is in session. Gentlemen, this contract is ironclad. Peter Lorre has us over a barrel. I don't understand, actors. We hire Laurie for a dramatic show. He wants to be a comedian. It never fails. Every dramatic actor wants to be a comedian. And to make matters worse, he insists on Red Skelton for his technical advisor. Uh, you think Skelton will do it? If we handle him right, he will. <laughs> hello? Peter Laurie, put him on. Laurie's on the phone. Yeah. Hello? Uh, hello, Mr. Laurie. Uh, yes, yeah, Skelton's on his way over here now. Yes, he should be here at any moment, Mr. Laurie. Mr. Lorry, believe me, I'm telling you the truth. He'll be here any minute. Mr. Lorry, please. No, no, Mr. Lorry, not that. Mr. Lorry, no, not that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Yes, yes, what is Mr. it? Mr. Skelton is here. Mr. S send him right in. Now, we'll have to handle him very yes, nice. Sir, will. Okay. Come in, Mr. Skelton. Mm -hmm. Welcome to CBS. See you later. Boy, what a network. How are you? Good to see you. Sit down. Have a cigar. Have a cigar. Have another cigar. Thank you. Hold him, Pete. Hold him, Pete. Please, thank you. Say, get a pillow. His chair is too hard. A pillow, Pete. Now, wait a minute. Doctor, stand. Look, while you're at it, boys, there. Let's go all the way. Scratch my back. Oh, that good. What a network, yeah. here. <laughs> All right, now that the joke is over, come here. What are you guys buttering me up for? Now, you know how these things spread. No, nothing yeah, like yeah. that. Yes, yes, what is it? What is it? Uh, Peter Laurie is on the phone again. Uh, tell him we're talking to Mr. Skelton now. <laughs> what a network. <laughs> Hey, what's this Peter Laurie bit? Oh, nothing at all. We're just building a little television show around him. Oh, that's nice. Around Peter Laurie. Yes. yes. What are you going to call it? Ghost of the town? <laughs> you know, like the toast of the... Don't you get it, Harry? <laughs> toast of the town? Ghost? Oh. Toast of the town! Oh, boy, if you don't play the last track, it don't mean nothing. Yeah, and you see, Peter Laurie wants to be a comedian, and he insists on you being his technical advisor. Yeah. Me? That's right. That's fine. Goodbye. <laughs> now, Red, Red, there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, oh why, Mr. Laurie's a nice, friendly fellow. Oh, why, sure. he wouldn't harm a fly. That's what... Is that a dagger? Well, it ain't a salami. <laughs> if it had been any closer, I'd have been twins. What does the note say? It's from Peter Laurie. Hey, let me have it. Dear Skeleton, S-K-E-L-E-T-O-N. <laughs> hey, like the bum don't even know how to write. <laughs> it says, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> I'll expect you at my house at the stroke of midnight. I live two blocks from the graveyard. We'll dig you later. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs>
such a beautiful night. <laughs> Only there is no smog. <laughs> Charlie. Yes, boss? Charlie, you know I'm expecting Red Skeleton. Now go upstairs and put on some skin. <laughs> okay, boss. Skeleton is at the door. Let him in. How do you do? I'm Red Skelton, and Peter Lorre is expecting me. Hi, Pete. I'm terribly happy to see you, Mr. Skeleton. Skeleton, Skeleton. I know, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, shake. Oh! Oh, this is only a practical joke. You see, I'm going to become a comedian. Oh, you're going to be a comedian, huh? <laughs> Boy, what a straight man you got. <laughs> Are you fixed for blades? <laughs> Meredith, take his hat off. Just the hat, not the head! <laughs> and his coat. <laughs> Where did you get this butler? Oh, you have no idea what trouble I have to keep servants. Oh. Gee, you know, Pete, I didn't know you look... You do your own hair? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Won't you sit down? Oh, I'd be glad to. Say, uh... Oh, Ed, uh, Red, uh, you have no idea how, how terribly excited I am about becoming a comedian. Oh? Uh -huh. Oh, I'm so excited, you see. Life around here has been getting so dull, so you... terribly dull. <laughs> Arthur Godfrey and his friend. <laughs> please, you know better. May I slit your pants, please? Oh, no, no. What are you doing, Pete? Get me out of here. Oh, oh pardon me. <laughs> Just a force of habit. You, yeah. It's very embarrassing, but I know you understand. Yeah, look, Pete, let me ask you something. Come here. When did you decide that you wanted to become a comedian? When? Yeah. Oh, uh, ever since I heard that, that comedians kill the people. Yeah. <laughs> Sam, don't you see I have a visitor? <laughs> Sam? Oh, pardon me, let me introduce you. Uh, uh, this is Red Skeleton. This is Sam Skeleton. Yeah, how do you... That's Sam? Oh, he, he's a very interesting man. Yeah. The only trouble, he hasn't got much hair. He hasn't got much Sam, either. <laughs> So long, Sam. Yeah, see you later, Sam. <clears throat> well, it was nice seeing you, Peter. I'll Red, see you You will have to have a drink, don't oh, we? No. Darling, I... darling, shall we have some drinks? Look, uh, we have to have one. <laughs> oh, Chura, a meat red skeleton. Yeah, how are you? Glad to meet you. He looks like a real dead wire to me. <laughs> oh, this kid's slab happy. <laughs> Shall we have a toast? A toast? To a short life and a miserable one. Do you sleep on a perch? <laughs> Bottoms up. Well, I don't drink myself, you don't. Mm. Pete, I've been poisoned. Yeah. What have you given me? Yeah. What? Yeah. You shouldn't have to what? Me. What? Well, it That's is... just plain water, isn't it, darling? Of course. Just plain water. <laughs> you sure just plain water? Well, maybe that's why it tasted so funny. I've been drinking nothing but pet milk for the last three weeks. <laughs> oh, well, nice spooking to you. Oh, you know, she's a very nice ghoul. Now, uh, Red, about my comedy show, I think I'd like to start it off with a, 
with a rousing musical number. Uh, you have an advice? Well... Oh, the, oh this is brilliant, Ray. Uh, what? Oh, oh the, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I now, said nothing. Now, as long as it's a comedy, uh, I think we should have jokes, huh? Oh, yeah, that would help. Yeah, jokes. So you want to do jokes, huh? Phew. Boy. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll need funny hats. You got any hats? Right? A couple right here. 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 Ooh. <laughs> here. Uh, where'd you get these? I haven't seen these kind in years. <laughs> they belong to my pallbearers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. All comedians wear funny hats, see? Oh. Yeah. Now I'm funny? Believe me. <laughs> now look, here's what I'll do. We meet on the street and I say, hello, Pete, and you say, hello, Red, and I say, we got a new baby at our house. And you say, is it going to stay? And then I tell a joke. You got it? Uh, got it. Got it. Here we go. Boy, it's... Wow. <laughs> hello. Hiya, Pete. Hello, Red. We got a new baby at our house. <laughs> Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. <laughs> what difference does it make? It makes a lot of difference. Ask any baby. <laughs> no, all you've got to do is to come up to me. I say, we got, we got a baby at our house, and you say, is it going to stay? And then I tell a joke. You see? You get it? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, boom, boom. Here we go. Hiya, Pete. Hiya, Red. We got a new baby at our house. <laughs> uh, is it... Can I even ask how the mother is? <laughs> it's just a joke. It's no joke to the mother. <laughs> but all you gotta say is it's gonna stay and then I tell the joke. You got it? Got it. Oh, gee, boy. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I Wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, how are you, Pete? Hi, Red. We got a new baby in our house. Is it going to sing? I guess so. It's got its clothes off. Yeah. Well, fine. Now we got the jokes. Now, uh, <laughs> I'd like to do a, a domestic comedy, naturally. Yeah. You know, a husband wife thing, like. Like Jackie Gleason does, uh, honeymooners, you know. Oh? Uh, do you have some advice? Well, um... Oh, did... Red, this is one. I've got to call my writer. I didn't say anything. I've got to call my writer. This is brilliant. This guy's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. you've stolen my writers. Aren't <laughs> an intelligent group of writers, huh? Richard, about oh. your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce them to you. This is Joe. Yeah. This is Lou. Yeah. And you don't is... have to tell me who this is. <laughs> this is the guy that gave his other eye to the CBS network. <laughs> <laughs> an interesting... <laughs> musical world, David Rose. A little traveling music, please. Now I'm even with you, Jackie Gleason. At last, I got the information. Oh, 
I mustn't grind this meat too much. Ralph likes it underground. <laughs> I wonder what's keeping him. Papa loves mambo. Mama loves mambo. Hello, Alex. Gosh, I feel tired tonight. Your lips are cold. Where have you been? Same as usual, driving a hearse. <laughs> Lucky you. You have all the fun. Fun, she calls it. Traffic was so bad, my passenger got out and walked. Poor <laughs> oh, dear, you ought to sit down. Yeah, I'm really pooped. I hope Ed from upstairs doesn't bother me now. There he is now. <laughs> Hey, Morris. What do you say we go for a little bowling, huh? I want to rest tonight. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a wonderful sport. Wonderful sport. Shee! I can't get my fingers out. Cut them off, Malice. No, no, no. Oh, I know. Pour some boiling water. What do you think I am, a tea bag? How about the head shrinking fluid? I'll get it out my own way, if you don't mind. <laughs> Oh, what, what do, would what you do? like to eat? Well, what do you got? Peasant under glass. You mean pheasant under glass? No, peasant. More meat. <laughs> Alice, I'm warning you. One of these days. Pow! Right in the kitchen! <laughs> Tell me, how did your business go today at the sewer? Well, I was up the mirrors more work. <laughs> It was a high time. <laughs> well, uh, where is your woman? Where is your wife? Is she upstairs? Is she home? Well, go find out. Hey! Truck scene! <laughs> She's home. <laughs> I think the little doll's coming downstairs right now. Let me go, Blubber. <laughs> How dare you insult me, you big bum? Oh, dear. Mm, boy, I'm gonna belt this guy. Hey, Matt! And Matt! You kept me waiting for hours and hours. My heart is broken. Yeah, my head's broken. <laughs> oh. My mother warned me about you, but when I listened, no, I married you, and you're nothing but a grump. Oh, uh, shut up! <laughs> Ooh, what a grump! <laughs> Come on, stop arguing, be friends, stop it, make yeah. up. No. It's your anniversary. Oh well. <laughs> well, let's not get sickening about it. <laughs> Darling, put your arms around me. <laughs> All the way around. Well, let's not make this a funeral case. <laughs> Aren't they touching? Mm. I think we should have a waltz. <laughs> hey, children. We have a surprise for you. Come on, sit down. Isn't that wonderful? Sit down. What's up, Ralph? Well, it's your fourth wedding anniversary. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Isn't that wonderful? Hey, Ralph. Oh, uh, who's this guy ripped? R.I.P. Rest in peace. Yeah. <laughs> what are you expecting, Liberace? <laughs> hey, uh, Ralph. Uh, I don't like to get nosy. What are you up to? Don't you remember four years ago you were buried? Not buried, married! He was right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of our wonderful sponsors for making this little visit possible. And they've asked me to remind you that this time of the year, naturally, you're called on to give to different charities. I think one of the one most worthy right at the present time is the March of Dimes. Uh, don't give till it hurts. Give till it feels good. And now we'd like to thank you for allowing our little visit. Next week we'll be back with Johnson's Wax. And uh, now we'd like to thank our wonderful guest star tonight, uh, Peter Laurie. Peter, come on out. <laughs> Hey, Pete, can I ask you something? Why is it you always do mysteries? Mysteries? Mm -hmm. I never do mysteries. They, they just turn out that way. Oh. <laughs> tell, me, tell me, Red, uh, do you think I'll ever become a comedian? Oh, you're a cinch, Peter. You're a cinch. You've killed the people tonight, believe me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get longer dance routines next week. <laughs> well, good night, kid. Good night, kid. Good night. <laughs> well, next week, good night, ladies and gentlemen. And next week, our guest star will be Mary McCarthy. Good night. <laughs> Johnson's Wax, makers of super hard gloss glow coat, invite you to be with us next week at this same time for another new Red Skelton show. Bob Lamont speaks.